So y'all check this video out right here that I'm about to add in. Show y'all what my weight is for the morning. So, all right, so they got me at 286. Man, I've been stuck in the 280s for like the past two weeks. Been like 282, 284, 286. And pretty much that video right there um, is when I was stuck at a weight loss plateau. I'll say within my journey, um, I probably got stuck at a plateau like four or five times, man. I'm kind of on one now, and it's our fault. For you guys that just starting your journey or, um, you know, that's still trying to lose, you know, a drastic amount of weight. As long as you're not increasing in weight, um, as long as you're staying consistent in the gym, keep going, man. The weight will start back to fall off. But just some keys and tips I can give you guys on what I did. Um, every time I hit a weight loss plateau, man, I decrease my calories. I increase my protein. Um, I increase my fitness level. I did some two-a-days. Um, I up my cardio. Um, I added a lot more strength training, weight training in, and the weight start falling back off, man. For some of you guys that's coming across this video on my page for the first time, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, share with any and everybody, man. Uh, the first thing I want to say, man, I appreciate all my supporters, all my subscribers, anybody that's ever liked, shared, or watched, binge watched, shuffled, any of my content, man. Appreciate you guys. I'm now monetized. Uh, which is why I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. We're just trying to get through the monetization process so I can start back putting it out. There's now a button under my videos when I go live um, or any up, uh, video that I upload to where you guys can um, show love. It's like a little heart symbol or something like that to where you guys can show love. Any donations would be much appreciated. I've still been locked in on the gym. i kind of been slacking on my diet. I haven't been focused on my diet as much on the weekend. My back gains is crazy now. Like I pretty much got rid of like all my back fat. It's pretty much gone. The only part is just this lower part right here. It's down, my legs, muscles is crazy. I got leg gains, man. Just pretty much working on this core, man. Trying to get this six pack. And we're gonna get into that, man, because today we're gonna talk about what to do when you're stuck at a weight loss plateau, man. So like whenever you're at a weight loss plateau, that's pretty much your body saying we gotta do some adjusting. And usually it wants a decrease in calories. It wants you to increase your protein intake. It wants you to be more active, man. And when I say it, I'm talking about your body. Um, your body wants you to be more active. It wants you to increase your protein intake. It wants you to exercise more. It wants you to stop binging. Uh, it wants you to get your gains on the weekend, stop eating when you're bored and things like that. Pretty much, um, right now, I'm probably like, I'm about to hop on the scale and show you guys my weight. I'll see, man, we right at 214.2, man, so. But I've been at a weight loss plateau myself, and I want to let you guys know, do not get discouraged, man. Because even though I've been at the same weight for the past month or two, my body's still toning. If I was locked in on my diet, how I was when I was dropping weight, right now I'd probably be like at least like 180, 175 maybe. I'd probably look a whole lot better as far as like my stomach and things like that. But it's just one of them things like dieting gets boring, man, especially like in my shoes, like I lost a lot of weight and I kind of achieved my goal. If you're at a plateau right now, keep going. Don't let it make you quit, man. It's just your body telling you you need to adjust. You need to increase your protein. You need to increase your activity level. You ain't going hard in the gym. You going in there, you ain't sweating. You leaving the gym. When you leave the gym, you want to make sure you're exhausted. You want to make sure you burn out. You, you want to make sure there's nothing left whenever you leave the gym. You don't want to binge. Like that's been one of my problems. Like, like during the week, I can lock in. I'm on a strict schedule. Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, so it's easier for me. But on the weekends when I got a lot more, not a lot of free time, but I got some free time where I get bored and want to binge, you know, get back to some old habits and things like that. But you just got to knock it, man. You just got to shake it, man. So I'm about to lock back in on my diet because I got some more body goals I'm trying to achieve, man. I'm working on my stomach right now. I've um, been doing a lot of core work, a lot of incline on the treadmill, a lot more weight training. Man, I probably hit a plateau like, four to five times in my journey, man. And each time I hit one, I was probably at the same weight for like two, two to three weeks at the max. Um, and I just, I had to adjust, man. I was slacking off. Like we get, so we get programmed to doing one routine to where we think we can do that during the whole journey. And it's not going to work. You can ask anybody that's ever lost weight or been successful at losing weight. You can't do the same thing like over and over. You can but you might get you might get at a plateau. Plateau just means your body telling you, you gotta switch it up. We gotta do something different. You might need to eat more and add more protein in it and then increase your activity level. So it's all dependent on your body. But I can say whenever we are at a weight loss plateau, it's our fault. Like it's something you gotta do different to 
Start back dropping the weight or it's something you're doing or you're going back to old habits that's keeping the weight on you and things like that, man. So, yeah, man, just to kind of give you guys a little update on me, man. Um, I have stayed. I, I'm always locked in on the gym. That's going to be for life, the way I'm going to the gym. Um, you know, stay fit and things like that. But the diet is where I've been struggling at because I kind of feel like I've already surpassed my goal. I know I told y'all I was trying to reach 199, which I'm going to eventually reach it, but I'm not like in the hairy or in the race to it. Right now, I'm just trying to tone up. I'm working on my core. I got some abs that's trying to pop in, man. So I can finally see like a two pack right here, maybe a four. But I just got to work on the rest of that stomach, man, and um, things like that, man. So that's pretty much what I've been doing, man. Um, lately, I've been kind of eating the same during the week <clears throat> chicken breasts, um, chicken wings, um, chicken, 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 man. I'm surprised I ain't turned into a chicken, man. I've been doing vegetables on the side still. Um, I still be banging out my fruit. I eat fish, uh, shrimp. Um, I've been staying away from red meat. Um, but yeah, man, I've been eating like different things. Like I go to Chipotle, I cook my own food. I've been eating out, get like a sub, you know, things like that, just to still stay in a healthy category. I still do OMAD. Um, my body just so used to OMAD, but I have been doing like, um, before I go to the gym in the evening, um, I eat like a banana or an apple just to break my fast. And then I do break my fast with my uh, official meal when I leave the gym, man. And that's another thing that keeps you at a weight loss plateau. We think we go so hard in the gym to where when we leave, you know, you think you can eat. And all you're doing is just evening it back out, man. Your body like, okay, like you just burnt calories, but you just ate everything back. So you're staying at the same, which, you know, if you're going hard in the gym, you're still going to build muscles and things like myself. But if you're trying to see that scale drop, man, you got to bust your ass in the gym and you got to be at a calorie deficit still. So you think, you think you're not at a calorie deficit. So let's say this, let's say if I'm 300 pounds and I've been keeping my daily calories like 25 to 2,800. When you hit 250, you can't eat 25 to 2,800 calories. Your body might want you to have like 2,000 calories, or you might have to increase your cardio to 45 minutes. Like, it's an experiment, man. When you get at that plateau, that's your body like, okay, we gotta switch this formula up, man. So every time when I hit a plateau, man, that's my body telling me, okay, T.Y., you gotta switch your formula up, man. You lost the amount of weight. You can't keep your calorie deficit the same. It's gonna change because you lost weight. And so now you might need to decrease your calories and increase your exercise, man. You wanna stay, uh, you wanna stay uh, active in the gym. Uh, you don't want to binge on a weekend, man. Get them weekend gains, man. That's when I was doing my best. When I could make it Monday through Sunday with OMAD, one meal a day, and eating healthy and going to the gym, that's when I was seeing the most and getting the most out of my journey. But when I started, like, binging on the weekends or, like, not doing my diet on the weekends is when I kind of could feel myself getting at a plateau. Like, I still build muscle and get stronger, but I'd be at the same weight, so... Right now, the scale ain't even been on my mind, man. I just been like busting my ass in the gym. I'm back on my diet heavy. You know, Thanksgiving just passed. I ate good. Um, but yeah, man, I'm back. Locked. Gotta make it through your situation. Whatever you're going through, just be patient. You gotta make a move.